So today we're in Dufton. Sarah's birthday, birthday girl. And we're gonna go up High Cup Nick. High Cup Nick. Uh, we did this about a year ago. Got quite lucky with the weather. Um, so it looks clear at the top, it's cloudy but clear. So yeah, hopefully we'll get the views. Um, yeah, so we're about to join the Pennine Way. And um, it's about three, three and a half miles to the top, so it's quite a slog. So, yeah, let's go. Pennine Way, High Cup Nick, three and a half miles. Uh, yeah, so this will be the fourth time I've done this route. Um, I did it back with uh, Lewis and Will in, well, about four years ago in the snow and didn't get any views at all. And then I did it from, yeah, I did it from Cal Green Reservoir, like the other way, but the back way, it's about six miles there and back. And then, yeah, it was a, it was a white out. And then we did it with Sarah last year and we had, got great views, so hopefully we'll be lucky this time. I don't think it's going to be, we're not going to get the amazing sunset we did, but as long as we get a view, I'll be well happy. The time is 5 to 12. So we've got two options, we could do a circular, which is a bit longer, but we might just go up and down, just because it gets dark just before 4 now, which is a bit shit. So we might just go straight up and straight down like we did last time. So we've got a mile, just over a mile in. Let's take a quick break. Dodd Hill over there, you see the lake, Lakeland in the back. I don't know if the GoPro will pick it up very well. And then we're just uh, going up. So we've got like another two and a bit miles to go. Yeah, it's good to be back up here again. So I was just doing cross fell, which is over there somewhere a couple of weeks ago, which you'll see in episode 10, which I've just put out today actually. <coughs> yeah, I look forward to doing that one again in the summer. Nearly halfway up now. Yeah, it's a tough slog, like, you forget how hard it is. It's just like, constant ascent. Oh. Last time we came up this way, we seen some uh, wild ponies, you know, black, black ponies just grazing away. You get them in Cumbria in the lakes and stuff. I thought it's semi-wild, not totally wild, but they pretty much live up here, so. It'd be good to see him again. see on the GoPro but you can see the wild fell ponies of uh, High Cup Nick. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's, no, there's another couple over there somewhere. So. Hardy bunch they are. Hard as nails. Hardest horses in Cumbria so I've heard. Hopefully they'll pick up on the GoPro. So we're just starting to uh, walk alongside the ridge of High Cup Nick, carved out, carved out by glaciers many million, billion years ago, whatever it is. <clears throat> Definitely one of the most impressive views in Britain, I'd say. Looks like we're going to get the views as well, touch wood. 
visibility is quite good. So, hope I haven't jinxed it. Whew. But so far, so good. Probably another mile or so to go. There's a better view of the wild ponies. It's a shame you can't zoom on the GoPro. But, there they are. Hardest, hardest ponies in Cumbria. Don't mess with them. It's a birthday girl. Yeah, fantastic up here, like. Look at that. Wow, you get a real, real perspective of it here. Fantastic. It's just amazing. Imagine ice just carving that, carving it out. Glaciers. <laughs> Got that camera as well. Hi, <laughs> Cup Nick. Time is like. What is the time? I can't see. It's about two o'clock. Um, yeah, that was a fair old slog. Blessed with the views. This is what it's all about. You won't find a better view in England. Possibly Helvellyn. Situated on the western slopes of the North Pennines area of outstanding natural beauty, High Cup Nick is a picturesque U-shaped valley. This renowned geological formation, located at the summit of High Cup Gill, forms a profound chasm on the Pennine fell side. A prominent feature of the well-known windsill, High Cup Nick provides breathtaking views of the finest glaciated valley in northern England, showcasing grey, blue, dolerite crags similar in nature to those found at High Force and Cauldron Snout. Positioned along the Pennine Way, it is accessible from Calgreen Reservoir on the Cumbria and County Durham border or Dufton in the Eden Valley. Just on the, on the way down now, um, yeah we chose to do the loop, which is a couple of miles longer, but should have enough light. By the time we get to the bottom, it'll probably be dark, we've got head torches so we can just like go along the road, so. Man, luckily all the ground's frosted over, a lot of it, this is be boggy as hell. <laughs> Is that 
frozen before. Yeah, Sarah's already slipped. I've slipped. We've both slipped. We all slipped together. Merton Pike up there. Just having a quick uh, brew dog break on the way down. Not quite as cold up here. Down here. <clears throat> We've got like another mile then we aim towards that farm over there and back on the road and then back, back to the car it's been quite an epic hike <clears throat> so yeah done it four times now and I've, I've had the views twice so the ratio is evening out a little bit Get a bit of a sunset here. Yes, yeah, it's uh, quite a nice little walk down. We've well, done this this route twice, coming back down, and when I did it, God, it must have been 2017 when it was a total whiteout. Can't really remember it because it was that snowy. <clears throat> bah. You do get some cracking views on the way down. See all the Lakeland Fells over there. So yeah, it's been a nice day really. Nearly back on level ground. Just got to uh, get over this ford. I bloody love fords. Ah. Yeah, we, we got across by the way. I just put this away while I did it because I didn't want to slip. <laughs> but yeah, home straight towards the farm and on the road and we're back. So the time is 3.50. And we're just getting back down to the road. So it's like a mile or so on the road then back to, back to Dufton. Brought the head torches just in case, so it'll probably be dark by the time we get back. <clears throat> Always carry a head torch in the winter months because you never know. <clears throat> just never know. Yeah, it's just on the home straight. It's like a two mile. I didn't realise it was bloody two miles, like. Two mile uh, plod on back to Dufton. Uh, yeah, so more of this really. It's nice to do the loop though, I wouldn't have really want to come down the same way. In memory of Lawrence and Eric Wharton, 2011. In loving memory of Mary Lorna Powley, me Wharton, beloved mum and grandma, sister, friend to many. And some, she obviously loved the shrooms. So, good girl.
nearly back at Dufton. Head torches are out. You probably won't be able to see shit. Yeah, probably done about 10 miles there. And back we are. <clears throat> the time is 4.37. So yeah, seconds probably a bit longer than we would have uh, hoped, but we've had plenty of breaks and just enjoyed it, looking at the views and stuff, so yeah successful day <laughs>